on our shelf. A couple different uh, sizes here. Let's start with a couple of these that I pulled out. There's this one here, roughly, let's see, 13 by 9. And it's got a leg. It's got a nice standing spots. And that one roughly weighs about 5 pounds. And this one here. There's a couple of smaller ones with no legs. Roughly 9, 8 inches diameter. And this one is probably 6 by 3. These two together, again, five pounds for the two pieces. Uh, there's a bigger one here that's 20 by, I think, 24, 26, and it's got a leg on it. And this one has got more, a little more weight. Let's see what it holds, and you can see the leg. That's roughly 58 pounds. Put that aside. Let's go on. So let's try this one. And this one, if you build different spirals and types of aquascape, this one is 23. Well, the thickest point or the deepest point is 15 inches from this end to this end. And it's got another little shelf that's sitting on top of it. And you can see there's a swim section here that goes all the way through to the back end. And it's got a leg back here. So let's see what this one weighs at. 20 maybe? 21 pounds from this one here. a couple of these smaller guys here so there's this one here again it's got a leg attached to it and this one is what 15 by 11 this one is 14 by 10 and it's got a leg you can see the leg has got a hole all the way it comes from one end to the other side here that's eight pounds what else are you gonna pick oh there's one here there's one here, it's actually it's nice, nice design, nice shapes on it, and it's lighter. And it doesn't, without a leg, you could use a Pecani, and that's 15 by 12. Simply all you have to do, just let's see what you could do one here. You have a Pecani, not necessarily that big, but place that down, and oops. Why is this falling out of my head? Yeah. So it, and there you go. And that could be used as a leg. And a lot of times the Pocani is much lighter for a leg compared to the shelf coming in with the leg. This one here is eight pounds. There's one, a couple more maybe. There's a nice one here. Nice and thin piece of shelf with a nice leg on it. Tons of shell on there. Let's see what this one here. That's going 23 by the deepest part is 15. So anywhere from 9, let's see. So 9 to 15 on that side. And I don't think that one has got much weight to it. That's about 14 pounds. Stay there. Let's see if there's anything. Not anything. Let's see if you can pick up a couple more pieces out. Uh, there's some big ones here. I'm gonna come over here. Come over the side. There's some nice big shelf here. Oh, let me see if I can pull it. Yeah. Good luck. Now there's a nice little piece here with a double wall on it. Come out. Doesn't come out. There's a few pieces. This one here is about 15, 14 pounds, I would say. About 20 pounds, 22 pounds, and that's about 22 in diameter. Let's make sure. 19 and 19 by 20, probably. One here. There is some nice pieces that sometimes they come in, like this one here. It's got a little bit more weight to it. 
but they are beautiful shelf. Tons of growth that was on it in the wild before it uh, naturally died. And you could see all the SPS that was growing on it. So let's see what this one is and we'll give it a weight actually. And you can see there's tons of holes that goes right from the top to the back end. So that one is 19 by 13, 14. Let's see what the weight on this one, that's a beautiful piece. I had a couple of pieces that size even bigger in my, uh, in my own tank. And yeah, like I said, a little bit more weight, so it's 20, 24 pounds on this piece here. Compared to that one here, that was said what? 15 or 14 pounds, I think, that one here. And ooh, don't fall. And there's a couple of big shelves for big tanks. And I'm pretty sure these are each about between 90 and 110 pounds, I would say. I'll show you why. So this one here is 35 by 25. And this one here is more rounded look to it. So that's 29 by 22. And let's flip them over and see what we're looking at. This one is, I'm sure it's quite heavy. So let's flip them over right from the scale. Yeah, 100 and roughly 108, 110 pounds. And then you can see, you can see the leg on it. It's got a nice massive leg, tons of swimming areas for the fish to go through. From here, that goes all the way from the opposite side or the other end. One here, one here, one here that goes to the holes that are in here. It's a nice piece, but for a good size tank. Let's see what this one that is rocks in my shoes. That one too has a has a leg on it. You can see the different ridges on the surface. You got a depth here, nice shells that stuck into it. And this one a slightly smaller leg. Don't fall. Slightly smaller leg than this one, but it's a different shape. So let's see what it weighs. That was about 93, 94 pounds. Can we see any more that's out on the surface? Let's see here. There's tons of the smaller ones. These are usually within under five, seven pounds. Well, these two probably about six pounds. And some of them, they have holes that go through and through. Some of them are just a bunch of small holes for good for bacteria and different filtration. There's another one here with a lot more holes into it. You can see the surface of it and the growth, how it's actually got was naturally put together. There's some nice designs on some of the pieces. And you can see the old coral bed or coral growth on it. I think I'm getting tired and that should do it for now. Did the